As we move from people wanting to come into the country, we will discuss people who want to leave the good old United States of America. Many African Americans here in the United States are very pessimistic about the mood and the direction in which this country is going, and they have decided that they are going to return home, quote unquote, to the African continent. Recently on Al Jazeera mm, English, they sat down and spoke with a black South African and African Americans who moved from the United States to Namibia and Ghana to share okay. their experiences. Before mm -hmm. I ask my questions, I'll ask both of you and you at home, have you ever been to Africa? Would you consider migrating to Africa or maybe oh. another country? And what would it take for you to make that big move? <laughs> Onika, you first. So I've, I've not been to Africa, so um, I really, I don't know. I don't think so. I like Brooklyn. Is it like Brooklyn? <laughs> Is Africa like Brooklyn? I mean, oh not the Jimmy Fry Brooklyn, like old school Brooklyn. Like. <laughs> Brooklyn. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I've, I've been to Africa several times. Um, I've been to South Africa, which is a lot like, I'd say Harlem. It's a lot like Harlem. There so, are okay. there's it's it's a mix of people. There's so, so many places. There's <laughs> they have a red rooster. They have their own mm. version though. They have all of their rooftop bars. Um, okay, it is go. it is very is lit. I'm telling you, South Africa was lit. I love South Africa. So I went to Kenya, which is very different, but it also has like a lot of things to do and. And Trevor Daly feel, is from Trevor Daly is from uh, Trevor Noah. Noah. Trevor Noah. Noah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and the Daily, the Daily Show. Show. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I've been to Egypt, which mm -hmm. I loved. I loved Egypt. I you know what it was? It was so interesting. I felt really connected to the continent in Egypt. I don't know whether it was because there's so many there's the pyramids and all that stuff. I felt connected to history there. It was it, it just yes. It just felt it just filled me up in a very different way. So you would I think move? I. You know what, because I've had friends who actually have lived there and they've lived, diplomats who've lived there for years and years and years, I could see myself living in Africa. Really? Yeah, absolutely. I could see myself living there. I don't know if I'd live there forever because I do love Brooklyn, Brooklyn. Yeah. <laughs> but um, I definitely yeah. would like I'm to I'm trying to figure, I think as a boy in Africa because no. it does not make sense. It's, no, I it's, mean, it's just, it's a, beautiful, <laughs> it's a beautiful place and it's sometimes nice to just be in a place where you feel like you are the majority. And I'm not saying yeah. it's not good here. I love it here. I love the diversity here, obviously, but... Just feeling sometimes that it's not like you're not being singled out because you're black. So I was Where in everybody Paris, I felt like, like that, you, right? Like that. So in Paris and actually in Spain, I didn't feel black. I felt like a person. Mm. If that makes sense to you, well, right? Yeah, yeah, well, I was like, wait, I don't feel black. Like, I didn't even think you, that I felt black in, in America until you leave America. And I was like, wait, what's this? Exactly, and now I'm like saying when you go to Africa. Okay, that's you know what I mean. That's that feeling, and it, and it's a good feeling. So, but what yeah. are we gonna um, do about Brooklyn, though? No, we gonna come back to Brooklyn. <laughs> Brooklyn's gonna be here. We're gonna be right here. Yeah, uh, yeah. So I would, I would do that. I would definitely move to Trinidad. You know, you know people are from Trinidad. You know, <laughs> Trinidad. Trinidad. I'm definitely gonna have my, <laughs> my home there. And so, <laughs> so I would definitely do that. Uh, yeah, so definitely moving around and, and just being, you know, places where, you know, feel like home okay, too. Okay, so maybe I'll That's go to Africa with you. You yeah. need to come to Africa. You need to come to Africa. We need to go to Nigeria together. They might keep Because I haven't gone to West I Africa. I keep thinking they're going to keep me. Like, they're going to be like, oh, our queen, and then I'm going to be there. Well, then you you'll be a queen. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you remember, remember when um, well, don't say coming, coming to, to America. America. Oh. <laughs> you remember coming to America, and they saw them in the stadium. They was like, oh, and they was hailing and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I don't even know what to do with that kind of power. I No. I'm a stay yeah, you know what to do with it. Oh, you get used oh, to it. Would you, you go? Would you go? Um, gosh, I've been to Africa. I've been to Egypt, and I loved it. it. I just right. thought, There's yeah, about I it. loved it. So, like, I thought, cool. right, I feel left out. I'm doing that. Okay. <laughs> go to Egypt. <laughs> I didn't speak a lick of the Arabic. Part of me was like, mm. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go. Yeah. Okay. I didn't speak a lick of Arabic, but I found the people to be really warm, and the yeah. history. I mean, it was just really great. And I have a friend who currently lives in Johannesburg, and mm. she loves it there. It, and I'm right. trying to visit. You would love um, it. You would love so, it. So, you know, it's. I think the question is, there are a couple questions, is what am I leaving the, the U.S. for? Am mm. I treating one set of problems for a different set of problems? Right. Am, am I going to Africa to to think I'm going to live in this utopia where I'm just, everything's right. going to be great, utopia, you know? Right. Well, that's, that's so it's like, you what set of that. problems... What set of problems am, am I willing to trade for? Or what am I willing to live with, mm -hmm. you know, at this point? Um, and in the video mm -hmm. for Al Jazeera English, the, uh, you know, uh, at least one of the women described this pull mm -hmm. to go back to Africa and feel connected. What is his name? Uh, you no. are so <laughs> cynical, uh, Onika. No, 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 no
to pull. What? <laughs> okay. Listen. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Africa. Yeah, I didn't. I don't feel that pull. I mean, not that I don't have interest to or desire to learn more about Africa right, and African exactly. culture, but I just don't feel like I need to uproot my life to gain that knowledge. Right. Um, and then also. I am very much a creature of habit, and I'm a sports junkie, so I need ESPN in my life, and everything. <laughs> you need to get into cricket. Get no, into cricket I need and one why learn. Why is all them? No, I need my football. I need my basketball. You know, I they have those, soccer. Those no, <laughs> no, it's not the and same. No, soccer players are hot. I'm not saying that they are it. I wouldn't mind dating a couple. However, you could really date Carmelo in Africa, and Lala would know. She wouldn't know anything. Like maybe you could do that. I think he does some work in Africa, but um, maybe he'll do some extra work. Oh, well, maybe so. Oh, Nika, man! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I just got it. Just got warm in here. It's not ready. It's not ready. It's not ready. Um. So yes, as I was saying, as a sports junkie, you know, I'm used to having my ESPN and there's just certain comforts that I'm used to mm -hmm. being here that when I travel outside of the country that I don't get and I think I would really miss but never say never you never right. know what circumstances life will bring maybe it's Carmelo for me or my African prince or you maybe like eggplant maybe a amazing job opportunity who knows <laughs> true <laughs> you know what Onika you know we what have... stop the I'm madness sorry. I'm sorry. Stop the I'm madness. let's bring it back let's bring it back